Hi there, folks. Uh, thanks for checking in. It's a beautiful uh, Sunday afternoon here in sunny Johannesburg. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you about leaving a legacy, living a legendary life, and especially as far as it relates to running your business. Um, there are many aspects um, that has an impact on the topic. I actually did a book on it called The Business Legend. And today I thought I'll spend a few minutes on one of the specific pillars of uh, creating a legacy, um, which I believe is totally discretionary. It's completely within reach. And I also, before I delve into the book and the specific topic of uh, the legacy zone, I thought that I wanted to share that. Can you imagine a world in which um, we all aspire to live good lives, to create good businesses that are based on good philosophical approaches which include values, your vision, and so on. Um, can you imagine what kind of world we'd be living in? Um, and do you know that all of that is within reach for every person and every person who subsequently, if that's their desire, create a business and manage that business? Um, can you just imagine the the lives that we live and the inspiration and role models that we'll be to pro protégés, our children, um, and the greater impact that that has on the world. Um, it's it's so beautiful. I you know, I think that's what inspired me to actually write this book. Um, but I, I wrote it from a business perspective and I, um, and that was driven by the time I spend and continue to spend as an entrepreneur, as in a business analyst, as a executive within business, whether past or future, whether owned by me or not, depending on what the nature is of the transaction. But uh, what the, one thing I do know is no matter what I do in business or what I do in my career for the sake of earning an income, if those things are based on creating a legacy for myself and not for undue recognition, but for leaving those that are within my legacy zone in a better place, leaving them with inspiration, getting them to focus on the positive and contributing to their own confidence and their belief that through their effort, they willingly can change the world into a positive place for themselves and for others. Similarly, when they involved in business, they can leave the trade environment in a better place for the world of trade and for others to follow. On that note, um, I wanted to share with you that I believe my take on this is partly philosophical. So my idea around creating a model that will by default develop business legends or legends if you like and leave the world in a better place so to speak leave their legacies and live positive lives in which goodwill and benefit has got no option but to keep coming to them because that's the outcome 
of living a good legacy life. That your good will that you plant into the world gives you returns that you can't imagine. And if I'm wrong, or if you're disputing this, I want you to think through it. Think through the people that you regard as legends, what they have done, and how they live their lives, and how good will tend to lead the way for them. Whatever they touch turns into gold, because they have created a good life based on good values, a legacy life. And I say to you that this can be done deliberately. So I've written a book that is based on three elements. The philosophical element, uh, which includes the psychological elements such as your vision and so on for your own career and business. Secondly, um, it's driven by elements that are willingly managed um, to take you towards um, the ultimate aim, which is to become a legend in your time. And while you do it, do good all the, all the way. Um, and the third thing would be the control thereof, the control which you apply in managing this process. But before I go there, my main discussion today obviously is around what I regard as the legacy zone. So your legacy zone, as per my writing, indicates that everything starts somewhere. Every legend influences a desired situation at first before the sentiment takes path, takes a path or journey of its own. You choose the legacy audience that brings your emotional satisfaction and happiness. So these people within the zone, they if they are happy, you become happy. The creation of a legend is therefore an organic process. I have alluded to the fact that legends can purposefully be built, but the process must start with the basic legend zone, a collection of people whom the legend protege seeks to influence and sanctify with his or her goodwill. The business legend must therefore identify his or her legacy zone, an audience of stakeholders that the business needs to impress with its product, service and goodwill. The elevation and escalation of the legend to universal status requires a spiritual intervention. It is an abstract process over which the human has no control. What am I saying here? I'm pointing out that you must identify your basic legacy zone that is family or customers that care enough for you and over whom you have intentionally exerted your goodwill. If you choose well and do well, your appreciation and impact on the chosen audience will grow. So will the account of your legacy. If you keep doing good, the universe will intervene and globalize your legacy. Size is relative. You may be happy with the impact that you have on your zone, and your zone may be regarded by you as your world. If that is the case, you need to apply the principles of the le legend growth model on your chosen audience and be the legend within your chosen space. You will be happy and rejoice in witnessing and celebrating your impact. The size of your influence beyond your basic le legacy zone is not in your hands. You must accept that and keep doing good so that the spiritual realm opens for your good work and increases to impact, its impact and scope over the universal audience for you to have global influence. So what am I saying, people? 
It's easier than what you think it is. Be good to the smallest group of people that you may consider as important to you. Do good. An intervention will be applied once you have impressed upon the universe that your intentions are resting on good values. If that happens, the organic process will lead you to an escalation. Your impact will globalize. I'm also saying to you that you must consider you do not aspire to be a legend to impress the world in, in the main. That happens through an intervention, as I indicated, a spiritual in intervention as I regard it. But what I am saying to you, you can deliberately influence your legacy zone and through faith and belief an organic process will take place that will escalate your value into a global legend if that's your desire and sometimes you know these things happen you may not want it it then becomes a responsibility that you have to carry because you have the gift on that note I want to share with you that the book takes this process from a uh, philosophical perspective, a, a psychological perspective, a body of physical perspective, and produces a process which I regard or call the legend business model. And th this model then drives you through the steps that you have to take. Um, all of this is based on one thing, that you truthful, authentic, and that you're real. I want to share with you that, as I said to you earlier, that the becoming a legend or influencing your legacy zone may be of less importance to you right now. But let's think through it. If you were born with so many talents and so many gifts, and you have dominion over the world. Your mind restricts you, but you do. Is it not a calling for you to influence the world and leave it in a better place? And, and, and to do that in an authentic manner. So the calling to influence your leg uh, legacy zone is real. My argument is therefore, do you have a choice in the matter? I'm saying no, you don't have a choice because of your gifts and talents. You have to influence your legacy zone, the chosen zone. If you're a human being, you choose the smallest zone that you know you can impact and influence in a positive way. If you're a business, it's your segment that your product, or service can influence in a positive way. From that level, an organic process will take place. If you continue to do well, have faith, and believe, you will convert your audience or segment into a positive audience, family, or segment leaving a positive impression on them, making them feel better about themselves and the world. Therefore, they look up to you, inspired by you, or by your product or service. And you, through that, send goodwill into the world. And what happens to you? The goodwill is returned. I think on that note, I, uh, as complex as it sounds, it's uh, the, the book is literally... Um, very basic. It talks about a lot of things that you would know. There's nothing fresh or new. It's an approach based on existing dynamics that you have control over. So I'm trying to empower you to exert your gifts in a good way so that you get returns for it. 
you can buy this book on my website www.consultdrq.com I've also got a blog on the on the website um, you more than uh, welcome to engage me on it you're going to email me um, the email address will be provided but it's quinton at consultdrq.com I look forward to engaging you on this topic. I look forward to inspiring you to become a legend in your lifetime. Not because you must, but because you were sent to do so. Must because you may think, oh, I must do this. No. In order to be a business legend or legend in your time is part of the demands that were placed on you as a good human being. So you're not creating something special, coming up with a new notion. You're doing what you must do as a good person and as a good business. On that note, we'll talk soon. Thank you.